Honestly, I don't think Pepper Soup gets all the praises and accolades it deserves. Is it not Pepper Soup? That spicy, warm, delicious broth that when you take it in, your body will just be, you know, giving you happy, warm, delicious vibes. And the good thing about Pepper Soup is that it is so versatile. You can pair it with rice, yam, bread, plantain, you name it. And what about the different variations? Don't let us get into it that big. But today I'm going to be sharing with you my spicy catfish pepper soup. And trust me, it is the best fish pepper soup you'll ever make. Yes, I said it. If this is your first time stopping by on my channel, I'm saying a very warm welcome to you. My name is Ify and this is my kitchen. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button and of course share this video, okay? Before we get right into it, don't forget as usual to check the description box for a list of all the ingredients that I'll be using so you too can replicate this delicious dish at home. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. First thing you want to do is to put your clean pieces of catfish into your pot. Now I cleaned my fish with some salt, you know, and I let it rest for about an hour so that the fish can absorb some of that salty goodness, okay? So I'm going to add a little water, not so much, just to steam the fish a little bit, this is fine. And in goes my pepper mix. Now what I have in here is a mixture of Scott Bonnet peppers, some cayenne pepper, which you also know as shombo, some onions and some spring onions. So I blended everything as you can see, coarsely, because that is exactly how I want it. Next to go in is my uyaya and also my seasoning powder. So I'm going to cover this and allow it to steam for a few minutes while I show you the next step. So while my fish is steaming, getting some good, good loving on the fire, I'm going to go ahead to blend this mix. Now, I have here some peppers, onions, and a tomato. My mom taught me this trick. She loves to put one single tomato in her insala and her pepper soup. And I like it. I think it gives it a nice color. anything though. If you see how this whole place is smelling so good, the aroma, eh? <laughs> anyway, so I'm adding some ginger and garlic paste, okay? This just adds to the flavor. So good. Okay. At this point, I'm going to add in my pepper soup spices. Now, this is a blend of different kind of pepper soup spices. You can get this in your local market already blended, or you can buy the whole blend and, you know, do it yourself. It depends on you, okay? So just put some, you don't want to put a lot. Okay, so this is fine. You're also going to put in this your blend now. Mm. Everything is coming along beautifully. I'm also going to add enough water now to turn this into pepper soup. This is perfect. I'm just going to cover it and allow it to do its thing. Ha. Do you know, something just crossed my mind. I just remembered something that happened a while ago. Like, I can't even believe it happened. Okay, so it was during COVID era. You know, this is when Instagram Live was popular and a lot of people were like inviting guests on their platforms. It was a way of growing your guests and engaging your audience. Do you get what I mean? So somebody invited me. I said they wanted me to come live on their Instagram page. I did not go to their more. They came to me to invite me on their platform on Instagram. I'd given them my profile picture, you know, to make banners and all of that thing. We had fixed the date for, it was a Saturday, I can never forget. Saturday, 4 p.m., you know? I was supposed to cook creamy pasta. Hmm. I'd gone out. I, of course, I accepted to be a guest on the person's program and to make creamy pasta. I went to the supermarket, or at that time we couldn't really go out, so I ordered all the ingredients that I was going to use to make this pasta. Now, Saturday morning came, 10 a.m. I, I started calling. 
12 noon, you know, calling that person that how far, just to know that we're still on point or on track and if there was any information the person needed me to know. Now, guys, is it not that person that's supposed to be calling me? I was the one doing the calling because I did not hear from her. I kept calling, oh, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, ha! For a program to start at 4 p.m. 3 o'clock, 3.30, but my own part had gotten all my ingredients ready, you know, just ready to hit the road because disappointing people is not part of my life story at all. 3.30 came, I'd still not heard and I must have dropped maybe up to five, six, seven missed calls, you know, for the person to see and call me back to nothing. 4 p.m. came, no call. Of course, I knew it couldn't happen. I'd not heard from the person, nothing was going on. So I just packed all my ingredients, jet jelly. I think I made my cream pasta the following day. But I was like, ah, ah, what could have happened? So I was not like, you know what? Let me go and even check this person's page. If this person posted that um, image, the flyer announcing the collaboration, I went on the person's page and it wasn't even there. Meanwhile, this person had shared it with me to show that, look, everything was set. That, you know, the time and all. But this person did not post it on her page. I started thinking, did this person know from the beginning that, you know, it was not going to happen or what? Ah, or more, I was confused. And guess what? I was seeing this person dropping messages on people's Instagram page throughout that period. This, this is not a joke. I was seeing, you know how somebody puts a post you will see people who have commented. You see the time the post. I saw this person's digital print. So this person was very active on social media. But I did not say anything. The person then called me the following day at about 9, 10 a.m. Do you know what she said? She was like, oh, sorry that she walked overnight. And so around, she now slept off. She slept off off and did not hear the phone did not hear anything and that she was so tired that she's very very sorry we have to reschedule blah 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 of course i didn't say anything that oh i saw your your digital footprints everywhere i didn't i didn't say anything but was it fair what that person did well in this life you don't know what's pushing other people i just left that to our hala but all i know is that tomorrow come to me and ask me to do a favor for you again of course you know the answer already i beg they come hmm. guys this is smelling fantastic and you know it is going to taste so good now one thing you should notice when you're cooking fish you have to be careful not to stir vigorously or anyhow because it's just scatter. so what i like to do is i just like to shake it and move things around so the fish does not stick to the bottom, you know? And everything just mixes well. Okay, so while this is cooking, we're almost done. I'm just gonna go ahead to chop up my ifuri, which is the last ingredient that I'll be adding to our pepper soup. So I've let my catfish and everything cook for about 20 to 25 to 30 minutes, really and it is all done. So I'm just going to finish up with some crayfish powder. This is highly optional, but I like the flavor that it gives, okay? Not too much, you don't want to go crazy on that, okay? And then some fresh ifiri. Amazing. So I'm just going to give it another shake. I'm gonna cover the pot, turn off the heat, and we are all done. So my fish pepper soup is all done, and I boiled some sweet potatoes to pair it with my pepper soup. I love it, the sweetness from the sweet potato and the spicy, delicious catfish, it's a match made in heaven. But like I said earlier, feel free to pair it with anything you like, okay? So this is how I love to enjoy mine. Oh uh, yeah, I think this is perfect. And to the star of the dish, a catfish pepper soup. Mm, mm, mm. Which part am I going to take? Which part do you guys like? The head 
the middle or the tail let me know in the comment section the part you prefer most i love to go for the middle so i'm just gonna get myself a nice piece mm -mm. come here come here come here come here Ooh, hoo, hoo. i'm going to take two pieces it's my food mm, lovely Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to spoon some of this delicious broth over this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. And that's it. Ooh, I've been waiting for this moment the whole day. Look at that fish, piping hot. I mean, is it not pepper soup? That spicy, warm, delicious broth that when you take it in, your whole body will just be <laughs> so beautiful and, it, you know, everything will just be vibing in your body. Oh, God, didn't I forget to say everything I practiced? <laughs> take two. But before I go any further, I want to say thank you if this is your first time. Now I'm talking too much. Personally, honestly. You've got this. <clears throat> now, this is a mix of pepper soup seasonings. You can get this in your um, nicest seasoning with spices. Okay, I look good. I look good. Okay, let's do this.